Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD, medical preparedness writer and founder of the survival medicine website, www.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 600 posts, videos, and podcasts on keeping your family healthy in any disaster. Together with my lovely wife, Amy, I'm the author of the Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, as well as the Ebola Survival Handbook. I'm also the designer of the fun new board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, a great way to get the whole family together for a great game night on or off the grid. Measles is a contagious viral disease that was once so common it was considered a childhood rite of passage. The disease was almost eradicated in the United States in the 2000s, but has experienced a resurgence significant enough to be worth knowing how to identify and treat. Now, in long-term survival settings, we can expect it to be even more common as the number of unvaccinated children increase. Also known as rubeola, measles shouldn't be confused with rubella, which is German measles, or roseola, which is a milder viral illness also seen in childhood. Worldwide, millions of cases are reported each year with 135,000 deaths in 2011. In the United States, case numbers have been as low as 37 in a year. In 2014, however, 610 cases were reported and there have been 102 cases just in the first month of 2015. The contagious nature of measles is not to be underestimated. Unlike Ebola, which rarely, if ever, is transmitted through the air, measles is clearly airborne. If you have close contact with someone who has it and you haven't had the vaccine, there's a 90% chance of getting the illness. In the families who are not immune, you can expect everyone to get it. In the U.S., the high percentage of vaccinated children has, in the past, given the unvaccinated kids protection due to what we call herd immunity. If a majority of people in the herd are immune, the non-immune in the herd have a much less chance of exposure. Lately, 1 in 12 families don't vaccinate their children. With some states like California, which has relaxed exemption rules for attending public schools, having an even higher rate at 1 in 8. In light of these developments, herd immunity is being lost and an upsurge in cases has been noted. Another concern with regards to transmission is that measles, also unlike Ebola, is clearly contagious even before symptoms appear. You may transmit the disease, if infected, for several days before the first symptom and continue to be contagious for four days or so afterwards. The medical profession in the U.S. has seen so few cases of measles in the recent past that few doctors have ever treated a case. State health departments have had to send out flyers to physicians alerting them to the signs and symptoms of the disease. Measles patients present usually with a fever as high as 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Two to three days later, red patches appear, usually starting on the head and face and then working their way downward. So many develop that the patches coalesce into even bigger blotches as time goes on. Other symptoms often resemble respiratory and eye infections. You may see the, the three C's, cough, coryza, which is head cold symptoms like nasal congestion, and conjunctivitis, also known as pink eye. Many also manifest white spots on the inside of the mouth called coplex spots. Other issues that can be seen in more severe cases include diarrhea in 1 in 10 cases, pneumonia in 1 in 20 cases, the most common cause of death in children, by the way, ear infections, otitis, 1 in 10 cases, occasionally resulting in hearing impairment, and corneal scars affecting the covering of the colored part of the eye. Brain inflammation and swelling, one in about a thousand cases, occasionally resulting in death or mental handicap, and convulsions as a result of fever in children. The above seem to occur more often in children under five years old as well as in adult patients. Pregnant measles patients may deliver prematurely or have low birth weight infants. Death as a result of complications from measles occurs in about one in a thousand cases. Diagnosis in normal times is made by testing the blood and or saliva. In a viral illness, antibiotics are ineffective for treating the disease. Primary treatment revolves around dealing with the symptoms like fever, nasal congestion, and cough. It's very important to keep the patient well hydrated. Although antibiotics are not routinely given, they may be helpful for complications like secondary ear infections and some pneumonias. 
Measles vaccine has been available since 1963 in the United States. Before vaccination became a standard recommendation, hundreds of thousands of cases and several hundred deaths were expected on a yearly basis. After its institution, the number of cases dropped precipitously. Vaccine is given in two doses, one at 12 to 16 months, and then again at four to five years of age. Measles vaccine is now given in conjunction with vaccines for mumps, German measles, rubella, and chickenpox, varicella. This is known as the MMRV vaccine. Protection rates against the disease are considered to be 93 to 95% after the first dose and 97 to 99% once both doses have been given. These protection rates are some of the best for any vaccine. Only the tetanus and smallpox vaccine approach this level of success. Many vaccines, including the one for measles, have side effects that are seen in a percentage of patients. The most common are fever, rashes, and cold-like symptoms. These occur in 5 to 14 cases out of 100. More serious complications are much rarer, but might include bruises, confusion and irritability, vision changes, swelling of glands, headaches, stiff neck, nausea and vomiting, pain, redness, or swelling at the site of injection. In normal times, anyone experiencing the above should be evaluated by their physician as they may be signs of a complication. The decision regarding vaccination should be based on hard data with the backing of science. Although vaccinations can have their risks, the positives far outweigh the risk when it comes to the measles vaccine. It should be noted, however, that all vaccines are not created equal. Do your own research and come to the conclusion that will best protect your family. Measles is a serious disease that's making a comeback. Be aware of the signs and symptoms and consider your strategy for dealing with any infectious disease in times of trouble. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, are you ready to deal with medical issues in a disaster or epidemic? Check out our Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, on Amazon.com or on our website at www.doomandbloom.net. Also, check out our board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, at www.survivalboardgame.com.